There is no right or wrong choice when it comes to your career, but instead, I would like to suggest that there are many right choices you could possibly make because I guarantee you that no matter what path you go down, you can learn and grow from whatever you experience and that will help you make more informed decisions with whatever you do next. career path should you choose? Or what should you major in in college or university? Well, first of all, there isn't one right perfect answer to this, which I'm sure will be super frustrating for you to hear. But instead, there are many answers to these questions that could be good options for you. And in this video, I'm going to share with you various questions you can ask yourself that will help you clarify what you might be interested in. And I hope you'll keep watching right until the end, where I'll introduce you to four important mindset shifts you can use to help remove some of the stress and pressure you're experiencing in making this decision. How can you clarify what you're interested in? So the starting point is certainly taking some time to reflect on what your interests are, what you like and don't like, what you're good at, what you have fun doing, what you're curious about, even if it's something that you haven't tried yet, what your friends and family would say you're good at, and not just from like a job title perspective, but what would they say are some of your strengths in terms of your personality, skills, and abilities, even if they don't obviously relate to a specific career path. What kind of work styles and environments are you more drawn to? Do you prefer to work more independently or with others? What level of work-life balance do you value? How important is salary or earning potential to you in a career? And what kind of impact are you interested in having? And how much do you care about that? Now, in addition to reflecting on these questions, a few additional strategies include researching different fields and career paths online, doing informational interviews with people who work in the fields and careers you're curious about, and getting some experience with things related to those options, whether that's through volunteering, internships, joining a club, or even creating a personal project. And as you do these things, always remember to reflect on how you feel about those experiences and determine if that might impact the direction you choose to go next. I have another video on discovering who you are in your 20s that I'll link to right here that provides some additional guidance on exploring who you are and what you want in life, so I hope you'll check out that video as well. What mindset can I use to help remove some of the stress and pressure with this decision? First, I want you to remind yourself that our careers are not linear. It's not a straight path from one thing to the next. In this day and age, it's quite rare for someone to study something in a university and then work in that same field after graduation until they retire. Now, I think that most people have accepted that there will be a certain amount of career transitioning in our lifetimes between different fields and that that happens for a lot of people and that there's absolutely nothing wrong Wrong with that. Those transitions really just reflect that our interests change over time, which is normal and healthy. However, I think that a lot of people struggle when that transition happens early on, like say right out of university. For example, say we've studied a certain subject in college, but as soon as we graduate, we realize that we're not actually interested in working in that field anymore and we want to transition to something else. I think that a lot of people feel very stressed about this. And I'm actually going to talk about this in more depth in my video next week. So I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and join me again for that. But in this video, I just want to emphasize that that is just another transition. It's normal and I would encourage you to embrace the change and don't panic. Second, I think it's important to acknowledge that whether you're currently a student or a young professional, there are career paths that exist in the world that you have never even heard of or considered at this point in time. And also, there are other career paths and fields that don't even exist yet that will appear in the future. When I was in my 20s, working in the coaching world was something I never could have imagined. Never mind creating a YouTube channel as a part of my business strategy. YouTube didn't even exist 20 years ago when I was a university student. So ultimately, the best decision that you can make for yourself will be based on what you know about yourself right now and what your goals are for the future. However, never forget that your interests, likes, and dislikes will evolve over time, which means that the most important thing is not to expect to pick the perfect university major or to pick the perfect post-grad job because perfection simply doesn't exist. And change is inevitable, which means that the most important thing in making this decision and in making any and all future decisions about the direction of your life and how and where you want to spend your time is to become a person who is adaptable and resilient in navigating anything that comes your way. To become a person who sees the value and learning that can come from all the ups and downs of life and to become a person who trusts themselves to figure out anything as you go. I have an entire video describing how to become a person who can figure out anything 
that I'll link to here. So please don't forget to check that out too. Third, stay open and be curious as you continue to grow. Okay, I have to tell you a quick story. When I was in my 30s, I became obsessed with listening to self-help audiobooks and podcasts. I started listening to personal development content really just to help myself in my own life. But as I started seeing real change and growth in my life over the first few years of applying the concepts that I was learning about through audiobooks and podcasts, I loved it so much. And I remember asking myself, is there some way I can turn this into a job? I knew it was a bit of a silly question that didn't really make any sense at the time. I mean, how can you turn listening to audiobooks into a career? But I just allowed myself to ask the question because it was clearly identifying a very strong new interest that I had. And as time passed, I kept asking myself that question and I slowly started to clarify things for myself. Why was I interested in personal development content? What had I learned and how had that impacted me? How could I imagine applying what I was learning to help others? And by starting to answer those questions over the course of several years, I eventually clarified a new vision that I had for my career and the positive impact that I could have, which is exactly what I'm doing in my career now as a mindset coach. So some of my questions didn't really make sense at first, but I just kept asking them and stayed open and curious to what they might mean for me. And they gradually led me to a place of higher clarity little by little. And fourth, there is no right or wrong choice when it comes to to your career. I know some of you might be a little bit shocked to hear me say that, but instead I would like to suggest that there are many right choices you could possibly make because I guarantee you that no matter what path you go down, you can learn and grow from whatever you experience and that will help you make more informed decisions with whatever you do next. Essentially, there are multiple paths we could take to get to the same point of creating a fulfilling life and career for ourselves. Some paths will be longer and others might be bumpier, but if we choose to see the value of all the ups and downs along the way, and we use those as opportunities to learn and grow, no matter how challenging they might be, then does it really matter if one path took longer than the other to get there? Choose your first job or your university major to the best of your ability based on your current interests and priorities, and then allow that to lead you to the next step over time as you learn more about yourself. Some careers are a better fit for us than others, and of course, our goal is to move closer and closer to the things that satisfy and fulfill us over time. But there is no such thing as a perfect career. And keep in mind that someday, even if you land something that resembles your dream career at that time in your life, as you continue to grow and evolve, so will your career aspirations, and you'll continue to set new goals for yourself. Look, this is all a balancing act between analyzing what your current interests and strengths are, but also being able to look at your life experiences from a much higher perspective to realize that at 20 years old, your life experiences are still quite limited and that as you learn about and try new things, some of those things might have the potential to fundamentally change the direction of your entire life and career. And that some of those things might not happen until 10, 20, 30 years from now. But in order to get to those new experiences, which will lead to this new perspective, you have to start by making a choice to do something and just get started right now. And whether you end up sticking with your first choice or not, with this new mindset, I hope you can see now that there is no such thing as a wrong decision. Now, it might feel like it at the moment, but that doesn't mean that your first decision was wrong just because the path you took might have had some challenges. Because if you had never made that decision and put yourself in a place to learn and experience what you experienced through that, you never would have come to the conclusion that you have a new interest in something else. So instead of being frustrated about that and telling ourselves that we wasted time and money and made the wrong decision, instead, let's be grateful for that experience and the learning that came from it. Let's appreciate it and be proud of ourselves for embracing this crazy developmental process where we have to actually try things out in order to clarify who we are and what we want in our lives. Okay, I have another video you can check out on how to make the most of your 20s that I'll link to on the screen for you. And if you have any questions about all of this, please leave me a note in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe if this content was helpful for you and thanks for watching.